Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Chatterfix Kids on your iPad. Now, I've previously done a video on how to use the Android version. You can click the link down below here to get that video. But in this video, we're going to look at how to use it on your iPad. This is a great digital storytelling app for elementary school students. You can see here I have it open on my iPad already. And we can start by using a photograph from the gallery of default images. But the real power of the app is in using the take a photo option. So I'm going to take a photo. I'm going to take a photograph of the coffee cup that's here on my desk. And now that I've taken that photograph, I'm going to draw a smile across the image. And next, I will record myself talking as the voice of the coffee cup. Record in three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Richard's Coffee Cup. I came from Carabasic Coffee Company. That's one of the best places to get coffee in the entire state of Maine. Now we'll just play it back. Hi, I'm Richard's Coffee Cup. I came from Carabasic Coffee And if we like that, let's hit the next button. And on the next button, we have options for putting different frames around our image. Maybe I'll choose this one here. Or I can scroll through and try some of the others. Find the one that I like. I'll use that one. And we have some options for stickers and other decorations that we can put on here. Maybe I'll put a hat on top of the coffee cup. And when I'm done decorating, I can add in some text. And I can write on this. And we can drag and drop and put our text in different places. Hit the next button. And now we have the video ready to play back. Hi, I'm Richard's Coffee Cup. I came from Carabasic Coffee Company. That's... And if I like what I've done, I'll just hit this little download button. And that will save directly to the camera roll on my iPad. Now, once it's on the camera roll on my iPad, I can do anything I want with it. I can post it in Google Classroom. I can share it to OneNote. Or I might drop it into iMovie with a whole bunch of other ChatterPix captures and make an entire movie in this format. So that's a short overview of how your students can use ChatterPix Kids for digital storytelling. If you want to get a get the app for yourself, go to bit.ly slash cpkids2019 to download it. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.